In November, Abdul Kamal was killed by the Irvington police. He was standing on Stanley Street in Irvington, New Jersey with his hands in his pocket. Uh, Irvington policemen fired on him 15 times. Ten bullets hit him and killed him. Since then, we have been protesting the death of Abdul Kamal. We have joined with his family, his mother, his father. Um, hello, everyone. Um, briefly, because I don't want to take up a lot of time, but me and Larry, we've been doing radio interviews with uh, WBAI. We did two Monday, one in the morning and one in the afternoon in, in the evening. And if you want to listen to them, you can go on WBAI, where it listen under archives, um, Monday, September 15th at 6. And the last one was Monday at 7. If you want to hear other programs before ours, before we spoke, we spoke about 6.45 in the morning and about 7.35 on the one in the evening. And they, they went very well. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to keep in the forefront um, what we're trying to do. The Attorney General, you know, it's been in the paper, the Attorney General taking this case um, because we don't trust the local um, um, prosecutor, because we don't know if they have affiliations or friendships with the, the local police, so we have to do what we have to do. I have to do what I have to do. This is hard, this is difficult. My family, the family I, give my, I give you my condolences. This is hard, but you have to keep strong. You have to stay focused, but you have to do what you have to do for your loved ones. This is Lawrence Ham, Chairman of the People's Organization for Progress. I'm making a special appeal to college students on campuses in the Newark, Essex County area to please join us on Thursday, October 2nd at a protest to demand justice for Abdul Kamal. Abdul Kamal is a young African-American man who was standing on Stanley Street in Irvington, New Jersey. His hands were in his pockets. He was unarmed. He was fired upon 15 times by the Irvington police. Bullets struck him 10 times and killed him. So on Thursday, October 2nd at 12 o'clock noon, we are calling a protest to demand justice for Abdul Kamal. The protest will take place uh, in front of the Hall of Records building on the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard and West Market Street in Newark, New Jersey. The protest is taking place there because the Essex County Prosecutor's Office is located in that complex. And the case of Abdul Kamal is currently before an Essex County Grand Jury. So we ask you again to join us on Thursday, October 2nd, 12 o'clock noon, at the Essex County Hall of Records on the corner of Martin Luther King and Martin Luther King Boulevard and West Market Street to demand justice for Abdul Kamal. This is a very important case uh, in the Newark area, and we are appealing to every person, students and non-students, to join us for this protest because we don't want the case of Abdul Kamal to be swept under the rug. And if you are there on Thursday, October 2nd, you will help us keep this very important case of police brutality in the public spotlight. Thank you.